Are you on any type of medication? You need to be very careful with what you are eating. Did you know that some of the food you are eating can interfere with the medication you are taking and causing more health issues than good? You may know that some medicines don't work well together. But what you eat and drink can have an effect on some drugs, too. Before you take a medication for the first time, talk with your doctor or pharmacist to see if there's anything you should stay away from. Welcome to our channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell symbol so you don't miss any future videos we upload. And if you have already subscribed, thanks for your support. Without any further ado, let's get to the point. According to the Mayo Clinic, nearly 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription drug, and more than half take two or more. Still, 100% of the population has to eat, and it is possible that foods may interact badly with those medications. Experts from the Texas A&M Wrangell College of Pharmacy say there are five common foods and beverages that can interact with your prescription and over-the-counter drugs and supplements. Make sure to talk to your primary care provider or pharmacist about how to adjust your diet and what foods you should limit if you begin taking medications. Don't mix your meds with these. Alcoholic drinks. Many medications come with instructions not to drink alcohol while you're taking them, and that warning is important, even one glass of wine could be too much. Alcohol can already have negative effects on your body, but you combine it with certain medications, such as acetaminophen, you risk liver damage. Also, alcohol can make you drowsy and less focused, and if you're taking medications with those side effects, that could lead to further complications. It's not just the obvious suspects either, avoid taking the antibiotic metronidazole, brand name Flagyl, within three days of consuming alcohol because the combination can cause severe stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, headache, tingling and palpitations. Dairy Products Got milk? If you start your day with a cold glass, make sure you're not mixing it with iron supplements, thyroid drugs, or with antibiotics. Milk can interfere with how iron is absorbed in the stomach, and the calcium found in dairy products can prevent the body from absorbing tetracycline and ciprofloxacin antibiotics and thyroid medication, so you get less of the active compound in your bloodstream. Caffeinated Beverages Starting the day with a cup of coffee has become very common or even necessary to avoid a midday crash, but remember that caffeine is a drug too. Even if you opt for a cup of black tea, you may be risking an interaction with asthma or anti-anxiety medications. Caffeine boosts the effects of asthma medications, so it's as if you were taking a higher dose, and caffeine can cause restlessness and insomnia, which can interfere with anti-anxiety medications. Green Leafy Vegetables Adding a big helping of veggies onto your plate is rarely a bad idea, but if you are taking certain anticoagulant medications such as warfarin greens rich in vitamin K can reduce the drug's anti-clotting effects. Kale and other greens such as cabbage, spinach, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, turnip greens, and broccoli are all rich in vitamin K. It's good to eat a balanced diet with plenty of greens, but talk to a pharmacist or primary care provider before you start making daily kale smoothies. Grapefruit There's nothing more refreshing than a ripe grapefruit on a hot day. Grapefruits are an excellent source of fiber and vitamin C but low in calories, which make them a great addition to any diet. However, if you're on certain medications, such as calcium channel blocking blood pressure drugs, erectile dysfunction drugs, some organ rejection medications or statins, drugs that manage your cholesterol, you may want to reconsider the tangy fruit. Grapefruits can affect the rate at which statins, like Zocor and Lipitor in particular, are processed by the liver. The interaction between grapefruit and certain drugs poses a risk if you are taking them orally because the interaction occurs in the digestive tract, causing accumulation. Ask your pharmacist or healthcare provider about possible interactions if you are taking any drug orally because there are at least 45 medications that interact with grapefruit. Ginseng this can lower the effects of warfarin, too. And it can make you more likely to have internal bleeding if you take the blood thinners heparin or aspirin, as well as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen. If you take MAO inhibitors, ginseng can cause headaches, sleep problems, hyperactivity, and nervousness. 
Iron Supplement This can lower the effects of levothyroxine, Synthroid, a medicine that gives you thyroid hormone when your body doesn't make enough, a condition called hypothyroidism. If you take this medication and a multivitamin, check to see if the vitamin has iron in it. If you need an iron supplement, ask your doctor about taking it and your medication at different times. Licorice Some people use this as an herbal remedy to help with digestion, and others use it to flavor foods. But glycerizin, a chemical in licorice, can weaken the effect of some drugs, including cyclosporin, used to keep people who've had transplants from rejecting their new organs. Chocolate Dark chocolate in particular can weaken the effects of drugs meant to calm you down or make you sleep, like Zalpetum tartrate, Ambien. It also can boost the power of some stimulant drugs, like methylphenidate, Ritalin. And if you take an MAO inhibitor, used to treat depression, it can make your blood pressure dangerously high. Antihistamines These help with the sneezing and runny nose caused by allergies, but some of them can make medication for high blood pressure less effective and raise your heart rate. Talk to your doctor about other ways to manage your allergies if you take blood pressure medicine. Anti-epileptic drugs These control seizures in people who have epilepsy. But AEDs can make birth control pills less able to prevent pregnancy, and early research shows they may make other drugs stronger and cause potentially serious side effects. Vitamin K If you take the drug warfarin used to treat and prevent blood clots be aware of how much vitamin K you take in. It can make the blood thinner less effective and put you at higher risk of a dangerous blood clot. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, parsley, and spinach are some of the most common foods high in vitamin K, try to eat the same amount of these foods every day so the level of warfarin in your blood stays the same. St. John's Wort Sometimes used to help people with depression, this herbal remedy isn't a proven treatment for that or any other health condition. It can make your liver release enzymes, things that boost certain chemical reactions in your body, that can weaken some medications. Those include cholesterol drugs like levastatin, altaprev and mevacor, the erectile dysfunction drugs sildenafil, viagra, and digoxin, lenoxin, used to treat certain heart conditions. Ginkgo biloba Some people use this herb to help with or prevent high blood pressure, dementia, ringing in the ears, tinnitus, and other conditions, but there's no research that shows it does any of that. It can weaken the effect of drugs used to control seizures, including carbamazepine, carbitrol, equetro, integritol, and valproic acid, depakine, depakote, and stavzer. Take as directed. Only about 50% of medication is taken as it's prescribed. People often take less than they need, take it at random times, or leave big gaps between doses all of which can weaken the effects. Make sure you understand your treatment plan and follow your doctor's instructions. Avoid problems with these tips. There are lots of things you can do to take prescription or over-the-counter medications safely. Always read drug labels carefully and learn about the warnings for all the drugs you take. Keep medications in their original containers so you can easily identify them. Ask your doctor what you need to avoid when you are prescribed a new medication. Ask about food, beverages, dietary supplements, and other drugs. Check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking an OTC drug if you are taking any prescription medications. Use one pharmacy for all your drug needs. Keep all of your healthcare professionals informed about everything that you take. Keep a record of all prescription drugs, OTC drugs, and dietary supplements, including herbs, that you take. Try to keep this list with you at all times, but especially when you go on any medical appointment. Before taking a drug, ask your doctor or pharmacist these questions. Can I take it with other drugs? Should I avoid certain foods, beverages, or other products? What are possible drug interaction signs I should know about? How will the drug work in my body? Is there more information available about the drug or my condition? That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any question regarding medications interactions in general, 
Please share your concerns in the comments section, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing health-related videos. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next video.